Why can't we tickle ourselves? Ah, it's because with this internal model that I mentioned, you, you have also what's called an internal predictive model, which is when I put out a motor action, like I'm going to move my arm and I'm going to tickle my underarm, um, I predict everything that's going to happen there. I predict the, the sensory consequences. So I can't get tickled. But if someone else tickles me, I don't know exactly when they're moving their finger. And so I laugh. And um, yeah, and so it's this really, this really goofy thing that you can't tickle yourself unless you set up something. You can, you can build this like, you know, let's say you set up a lever and it has a feather on the end of it and whatever. But you have a computer inject a little delay. So that you don't know when you move the lever, it's going to move the feather in your underarm, but you don't know when exactly it's going to happen. And then you can tickle yourself just fine. And by the way, people with schizophrenia can tickle themselves because they have a problem with their forward predictive model. Um, so that's, you know, almost a diagnostic capacity there. <laughs> <laughs>